get it off <coughs> the comments that were alleged that were said by you. How closely does that resemble how you feel about Cleveland actually? Well, first, I didn't say it. Um, obviously, I mean, everybody's going to write whatever story they want. There's history that I played there the last four years. Uh, I'm an extremely competitive person. Uh, everybody knows that. If I wasn't wanting to win, then there would be a, a really big issue uh, of me being the quarterback here. So um, I want to win in everything I do. That's, that'll never change. Now, uh, that is not how I phrased it. That's not even what I said. So that, that's, I'll just leave it at that. How did you phrase it, if you don't mind? I, I didn't even say anything. She said, did you I hope, talk yeah. to her at all? Or? No, I talked to her. I mean, I think she addressed it. She said it. Um, obviously, you guys can go back and look at what she said. Um, but all I did was agree. You know, I hope we win. <laughs> it's pretty plain and simple. Competitive, I want to win. Um, and I don't, I don't think that should be uh, harped on. You said you agreed with her in terms of wanting to win. Yeah, I mean, I've known, I've known Cynthia for years, and, and um, she said I looked happy, looked healthy, looked like I was in a good place, and I said, yeah, yeah. She said, I hope you go take it over, and obviously descriptive, but I said, yeah, me too. So that's, that's the extent of it. It's obviously a bigger story because I haven't given uh, the media what they've wanted me to give them this year in this offseason, so this is what they think that I've said, and it's not. So you take it and run with it, but I know what I did, and uh, our team knows what I said, so... It's, it's all right. Hey, let's talk about the chemistry you're developing with the current receivers you've got, and are you excited about that? I'm really excited about where we're headed. Um, just as a whole offense, we've taken a ton of strides uh, from where we were at first couple days in camp with Wofford, and um, just each day there, there's important reps, even if we're not throwing the ball, just talking about these looks, and we have the TV on the sideline to, get, to go back and watch the replays. And chemistry is just continuing to grow, and we need to continue to work on it. It's never going to be uh, perfect, so there's always work to be had, and I think our guys are extremely hungry to continue that. Major, where are you at right now in terms of preparing for Cleveland, both on the, the field and just mentally or psychologically as well preparing for that Cleveland game week one? Yeah, I mean, right now, still kind of in the half preparing for Cleveland, half training camp mode, trying to get everybody uh, on the same page and, and continuing to work on our stuff. You know, obviously, just just made the, the 53-man roster, was finalized today, and getting the practice squad guys out there. So, um, you know, obviously, there's familiarity with that system that we're going up against and just some of the personnel. Um, I'm really comfortable where we're at as an offense, and just as we start to get into this game planning mode, uh, being able to communicate correctly. I, I, I'm very comfortable. What's yeah. it like being a lightning rod for things like what happened this past week? Um, it's definitely been a learning process. Did I have it figured out young and early in my career? Absolutely not. Um, which is, you know, why, why I've taken the approach this offseason to just go about my business and let people say what they want and just control what I can. Um, and it's it's just the way it is. You know, I have, I've always had fun playing football. That's never going to change, and, and I enjoy it, and I'm passionate about it. And, and it's, nobody can take that away from me. But, you know, off the field, I've, I've learned to, you know, keep it to the minimum, keep it within house, and, and just talk to our guys and our people, and that's what matters. To that, that point, Miles Garrett said that, that that's sort of what gives you your edge, that those kind of comments or the way you carry yourself, and that he'd seen it, and that. It worked for you. Yeah, I mean, like I just said, I, I you know, I keep it in house. I talk to our guys, and that's a person that I played with for four years. So he knows how I'm wired, how I compete every single day, and everything I do. So that, that's to be expected. So that being said, Baker, and the maturity that you've exhibited and the growth that you've had since your younger days in the NFL, does that make yesterday's events frustrating since you haven't really given the media any billboard? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it was one thing that, you know, I'm off social media right now, so being it brought to my attention uh, was, was kind of shocking to me um, and just finding out that way. But it, it, it is what it is, but also at the same time, just still have to control what I can. It's frustrating in the sense that um, it's not the way it happened, but at the same time, just got to move forward. Uh, it, people are going to say whatever they want, but as long as I handle my job and my profession and, and uh, show our guys that it's all about winning within the building, that, that's what really matters. You said you've known her for a while. Did, did you, have you gotten in touch with her to clear the air? Or were you, I have not. Did I know she reached. No? no, I mean, I could care less. I'm moving forward. <laughs> I'm preparing for week one and, and still training and ready to go. This is uh, just a little slight distraction, just answering questions right now. And, and in the grand scheme of things, it really does not matter. It's over. A little bit of a different Baker off the field, but on Sunday against Cleveland, between the lines, can we expect a 
fiery, emotional. Thing yeah, I mean, football is a violent, very emotional, passionate sport, and that's the way I've always played it. I'm not going to change that. And it's in the grand scheme of things, guys, everybody's going to – it's a great storyline. It really is because I wasn't expected to be out of Cleveland. It's, it's a great storyline. But after week one, there's 16 more that really, really matter. And so that's, that's how I'm approaching it. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. What was your reaction when you saw Chanel walk in today? Big, big receiver, I guess, oh. is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I was, I was kind of shocked. He, he's, a, he's a big dude, um, really physical presence. I mean, he's, he came out there, and obviously he's kind of learning on the fly for us right now. Um, I can relate to that, but he, he did well today. Uh, physical presence, obviously his athleticism pops off, you know, it, you know, jumps off the tape and then seeing it in person is another thing. So we're, we're happy to have him and uh, just to see where he kind of fits in with what we're doing. You're a month into this thing yourself, basically, a month and change. What can you help him with in terms of getting him caught up, getting him incorporated into this? Yeah, um, for us right now, I mean, the installs are, are pretty heavy. So really trying to hone in on our game plan stuff and just teach him little nuances as we go. You don't want to overwhelm him with anything. You want to be more game plan specific. And I think our coaches are going to handle that perfectly. Uh, I completely trust them. And I've told him I'm, I'm here to, if he has any questions to bounce off, uh, then I'm here for him. Have one more. How do you feel about Cleveland? I think the city's great. Four years there, ups and downs, like I said before. Uh, I mean, thankful for the, my time there. Um, it's a football town. It, it was, you know, obviously, came to an abrupt ending, like I've mentioned before, but I'm moving on. I'm in Carolina. I'm really, really happy to be a Panther. This is a great organization, and I'm, you know, I'm blessed with a great group, uh, staff, and just people that have welcomed us in with open arms and great teammates. So, do you think next week's going to be crazy because of that, or no? I mean, it's I'm going to handle it like any other week. It's like I said, it's a great storyline for people to write about, but when it comes down to it. We're still playing a football game against somebody else, and that's the way I'm going to handle it. And, and our guys are going to have my back no matter what, no matter who we were playing. Um, it's just the case, and that's the type of group we have, and that's why I'm extremely happy to be here. All right, thanks, Blake. Thanks. thanks.